looking northeastward up the valley of the Swift Current Creek. It's a lovely Saturday evening, hardly any wind, nice and warm. Neighborhood of Duncairn and looking northward up Highway 360, Secondary 360, due north. This is Reed Lake, backed up behind the Duncairn Dam, Duncairn Reservoir, also known as. Looking west into the sun. And there's elevators. They're about 45 kilometers south southwest from Swift Current. And this is Simi, Saskatchewan. It's Saturday, July 28, 2012. That's a tannoy system on that backstop. And a set of bleachers, facilities. Yeah, at least they're taking some hay off of the outfield. Not much ball being played, curling rink, arena. Simi was at the end of the rail line. The CPR ran out from Swift Current in the 30s, in the early 30s. Curiously, Charles Bowie and Leslie Cosma don't mention this little spur line in their wonderful Canadian Pacific's Western Depots, the country stations of Western Canada, wonderful book. No mention of Sydney though. So I can't tell you what kind of a station it was, or what the mileage was, or anything. Not even when it was built. I can tell you that the post office opened on May 1st, 1933, and closed in 1995. And that's all that remains of the service right there. It was opened by Andrew Bernard Petro, who ran it till 1963, maybe in one of these buildings along Railway Avenue, I guess. Population was 15 in 2006 here. It's gone up a little bit, but well down from the peak population in 1969 of 125. Got the fire hall, though. Never was a village, Simi, always a ward of the Owen Creek Rural Municipality 104. By 1942, not only was there a school, but there was four elevators. And this church. And looking around northward up to Reed Lake. Now the CPR abandoned this line in 1996. Yet there remains an elevator. The old pool elevator from 1982 on the left and the crib annex from 1959 leaning up against it. The wheat pool showed no presence here in 1933. In fact they identified the place on their map as Mays Hall after the original post office that was established in this area in 1912. To a quilt farm. I'd always wondered where they came from. However, Simi is not Maze Hall. It's Simi because when the CPR arrived, they laid out their Y, their end of the line Y, so they could turn their rail machinery around on land owned by the Simi family, who'd been here since 1908. 
farming settlers began arriving in this area in 1906 and when the big freeze of 1907 killed off the cattle herds in this area much much more land was thrown open for settlement. The three D. Long brothers remembered Bill Ballantyne from 1906 followed by Andy McCarthy, Jack Davidson, and the Hoy brothers in 1908. The Andersons, the Bannermans, Morstad, Larkins, uh, an admixture of Germans and Norwegians. Though the Saskatchewan wheat pool didn't have a presence in Simi in 1933, they appear on the night. Simi appears on the 1946-47. So they were likely one of the four elevators that stood in 1942 in Simi, Saskatchewan. 